Right, that's it. Uh, another fully constrained sketch. That's exactly what we wanted. So, now that that's done, uh, in this tutorial, uh, as, as you see here, these um, edges are curved. There's a lot of um, radiuses on all of this, pretty much every uh, angle. Um, I'm probably not going to cover that. I might just touch on it at the end. But um, you could do it in the sketch. Uh, there's a tool here. Uh, create a fillet between two lines. Uh, but that might lead to just complicating the sketch a lot more. Uh, you can also do it when you've got a solid part. You can add fillets to the edges of the solid part. So I might touch on that right at the end. So now that that's done, and I'm happy with this dimension, uh, the uh, rim uh, width, and making sure that we've got one point that's coincident with the x-axis. I'll close the sketch. And now we're going to use this tool, revolve a selected sketch. So select sketch, click the button. Right, so. Something interesting's happened there. If we go into click on the revolution, look at the data tab. Uh, the first thing to note: uh, the angle 360 degrees. That's obviously a complete revolution, which is what we want to achieve. Uh, but just so you can see what's going on. I'm going to reduce that up to 70 for now, so we can see there's the sketch profile. And the second thing to note is the axis. So by adding a 1 in either X, Y or Z, it controls the axis by which the sketch revolves. So at the moment, Y is checked, so the sketch is revolving about the Y axis, which is what we don't want we need the sketch to be moving about this axis uh, about uh, just looking there we want it to revolve about the z-axis no my bad that was wrong it's the x <laughs> okay so that's looking more like it it's in the right direction but it's inside out <laughs> and also it's um, as I said it was important to have one of the features touching the the axis and it's revolving about the x-axis with the feature touching it so if we were to do a complete 360 it's completely enclosed rim and it's going in the wrong direction uh, this is where the second number comes in, the bead seat diameter, and uh, yeah, we we should have ideally we should have put the sketch about the x-axis here. But if we know uh, the stack of all these dimensions, we can simply calculate um, the desired um, number. But for now, I'm just going to make it up. So, third thing to note is the base. Now, I've got to remember what's going on here. Let's just try putting a hundred in there. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Let's try and explain this. So, Uh, this is the amount of offset in each axis. So if I offset by 100 uh, mil in the Y axis, um, what I'm doing is taking the sketch, if we just look at the sketch, and you see the Y axis is pointing down from the sketch. So if I offset in the y-axis, it's effectively moving the revolution point from here, where we had it, 
to 100 mil offset in this axis. So you're moving it away from revolving about that point to 100 mil offset from that point. So we're nearly there. We've nearly got the rim profile. But as you can probably tell, it's inside out. So what do we do about that? OK, let's have a look at the other options. Right, yeah. So I've put 100 here. The other thing you can do is you can put a negative number in. And there we go. The rim is facing the right way now. And that was the desired effect. So we set that to seventy. We can have a look. Uh, this would be typically if you're gonna buy a rim, this might be how a manufacturer will present a photograph of a rim section something like that and as I said also yeah we'll have a look about how to add some chamfers so if I select that edge hold down the control button select some more edges and then we can use the make a fillet on edge face or body tool you see there it's added a fillet and we can control the radius as well I don't know how to get that to update actually so yeah it's as simple as that simple as selecting the edges and adding a fillet. So that's it basically, how to create a bicycle rim using the sketcher and the revolve tool.